and this you can see this. So there's my Bama seals in there. And I put a little bit of grease, a little bit of grease around the stub where the seal runs, just to lubricate the seal. So I throw my, my hub on very carefully, up through the middle there, poke it up, push it home. I get my bearing, push it home as well. Washer and nut. Now, remember the slip pin? We now our hole runs through here at 12 o'clock. Okay, so I put the nut on. Okay, and I get my trusty shifter. Now this is the key to making bearings live. I tighten that up, okay, and it struggles to turn. But what I need to do, that just seats the bearings. Everything's seated now. I need to back this off until it goes loose. And I need to bring it back up until I touch the first lot of resistance. Check it for movement. Now, just you can just sort of feel it start to make contact about there. I'll probably even come back off a little bit to line my hole up. To line my hole up in there. Because I need to line that hole up for the split pin. Now, I normally set them up with just a little bit. You give that a shake, you can, there's just a little bit of movement. But it's nice and free. And you can see the nut actually even does up and undoes by hand. So there's no real tension on the nut. A split pin. Got a little bit of movement there. I'll probably see if I can come up to the next hole. See, I, I'd be starting to think that's almost getting too And that can be the trouble sometimes. Like if you don't have two holes, you sort of need a half between two. So ideally, if we had another hole through here, we'd get half of what I've got. I feel that's too tight. I would rather it be a touch loose, which is what I'm going to end up with there. has just a little bit of play. You can just feel a tiny, tiny little bit there. I'd be happier than, with that than I would be a bearing too tight because as it gets hot, the bearing's going to expand and it needs a bit of area to grow. Okay.